Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Persona 5 Royal. <clears throat> in the previous episode, we explore another part of Kamoshida's castle. We got Ryuji to awaken. And now we should move on to the next part of the freaking story. So if you have this episode, make sure that like button support is greatly appreciated to the channel. So let's go sleep. And we should be hitting the dream world once again. Where Igor is gonna be telling us stuff about you know about the chariots and all that stuff. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. All right. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed, got it? Text message, no? No, okay. I was about to get ready for another quiz. I got a freak it. We're Owen, oh we're zero right now, okay. Still sticks out. Hasn't changed. 
finished a bit. Hmm? <sighs> Pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that song. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That's a sad volleyball rally. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Oh, you're coming with me, too. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? Alrighty then, he should be talking about homeboy right there. Classroom, building, two floor, second floor. Um, let's see, D, D, D. He should be all the way over there. And everybody's in their PE uniforms. Coming in. Where is he? That guy over there. What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? What? Wh what, are you, what are you saying? No, of course not. It's Kamoshida, ain't it? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and she still won't fess up. Crap, if we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Alrighty then. 3C going up, even though it's just one step away. Okay, 3C, 3C. 3C. That's A, B. C? That's one C. How the heck? Is it the is it in the first floor considered as the third years and the bot on the top floor are the, the upperclassmen? Yeah, it is. Hmm? Is it this guy? Yeah. Man, cleaning up the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. What do you want? And what do you want? You got something to say? How did you get hurt? Uh... It's from practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course, our practices are going to be tough. Mr. Kamoshida is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. Are you sure it's not abuse? Uh-huh. Sure. As if. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? I heard he carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? 
How's it going? We refuse. Him too. Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamoshida. I still got a lead. A first year, a new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamoshida's web of bullshit yet. Go ask him when, with the first year. See if you can find him. Alright then. Next up, it's the third third floor. Yeah, I remember that third floors get the first years, while the first years get get the bottom floor. Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? What's that supposed to mean? Look, don't wrap me in whatever weird stuff you're getting yourself into. Besides, Mr. Kamashino doesn't want us talking to sketchy people like you. If he saw me here, he'd totally give me his special coaching, just like he did with Mishima Senpai. Oh, never mind. I forgot I said anything. I can't do it. Ask someone else if you want to know something, anything more. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Hmm. Damn it, we're out of time. How'd it go? No good. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you at the courtyard. The courtyard is that one area, right? Can I talk to you for a sec? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. A second, Sakamoto, and you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still. That doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious, after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. 
he's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has gotta be a joke! Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's... all I can do. I'm worn out from all the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Alrighty then. Go to bed. Mm -hmm. Hey, this doesn't... It don't make any sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Because of volleyball, they're afraid of Kamashita. They don't care. Yeah. It's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, that don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating up kids and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Who, who are you talking about? Aunt Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Ugh, what, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashi during break tomorrow. Just you watch. I ain't giving up. Alright, time to go to sleep. Sleep. Did you see Mr. Kamashita play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for an autograph after school. I don't know if it's that such a good idea. I heard that you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. You'll say you can hear weird sounds like screaming even though there's no one there. What? Well, that's probably just a rumor spread by fans to scare the competition. It's your own school. The heck? Afternoon time. So about witnesses, I was wondering if we could get uh, something about out of Ta Takamaki. She, since she's with Kamoshida? No, that ain't why. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFF with a star with a starter, a girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Taka Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. I really am sorry, though. I must have spaced out. Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? 
Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. But sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day? The cat's talking? I am not a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? Then it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? <sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey! How dare you treat me like- Don't be so rough with me! Enough of that! You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, 
the crimes they committed remain, Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes. And he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about the Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. What do you mean? It's just impossible. I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida's their type, you know? So I gotta wonder who those rumors came from. I guess we'll see tomorrow. Alrighty then, um, I think we should head that way. Um, either way, it doesn't matter which way we go, we just go home. Next. Oh, wait, we counted her in. Oh, I remember now. And I'm trying to get to the train station, please, thank you. Oh, we encounter her through here. I think so. I think. We just ran into uh, in this area, I believe. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But well, we'll try. Come again. Going down. There she is. Will you please give it a rest? I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's position wait were you listening <sighs> haven't you heard of privacy <sighs> no I was out of line sorry so how much did you hear That is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. It's too funny. My, how
Agape, come back. Follow her. Stop. Hey, I'm trying to go down through the upscale escalator, but stairs will, will be perfectly fine. Pursue on. Will the camera controls work with me? Thank you. To the right, to the right, to the right. Straight, 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 straight. Wherever the heck she's at, find her. Huh? Right there. Why would she hide like that? Stop following me. Just leave me alone. Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she was my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. I've barely even talked to you before. Huh? You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. You assaulted someone. That you almost killed them. Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and... Everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. Suzui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. <laughs> You're late. Where have you been? On a date. The trains were delayed, some thug was bothering, I got lost. Don't give me those lies. By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Huh. Well, they've got
got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? And with that... Uh, so what do you think about what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all the stuff about sin desires, and Kamashita's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, sure I'm pissed at him, but I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Uh, yeah, that's too much. For sure. I mean, maybe I'm just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of this shit. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. And with that one, well, I'm right here. Like and subscribe, Shrugger's XC Menon.